This is code.org. I'm working on computer science discoveries. Unit 2, which is all about HTML. Uh, it's Well, it's called web development. Lesson 4, which is all about headings, and I am on level 6. Let's see what we're working on here. Uh, headings and paragraphs. The author of this page added in a lot of content, but did not think about structure. Oh no! All of the text is mashed together. Do this. Look through the content with your partner and decide what you think the best structure should be. Use your headings and paragraph tags to code the structure into the web page. All right, well, I guess we're partners, your partner. So let's see what we have here. There's a lot of helpful information right here, such as what is HTML, hypertext markup language. What about tags? How do I make different size headings? H1's the largest, H6 is the smallest. Things like that, that's a great resource. So let's see what type of structure is missing and let's use our heading tags to add it. Hmm. My pets, I have three different pets. Okay, Lala, Lala the dog, Slowpoke the turtle, that is a quality turtle name, and Hamster the fish. Wait a minute. Hamster, fish? Is hamster the name of the fish? Hamster must be the name of the fish. Yep, it is. Okay, anyways. Um, it looks like that these are meant to be paragraphs explaining each of the pets and that these would be the titles. So is there a main title to this site? Hmm. I think yes, right? So I think my pets would be the main title. So that should be the largest. So the largest tag is ba -ba -dum, H1. Whoops. And see, now I have an error because I did not close this tag. I do need a slash. Mm, I'm going to just put a space in between these. That doesn't show on the page. It just makes it easier to read. And there we go. If yours didn't update after you added this, you might need to hit refresh and save. All right, so my pets. And then it looks like this is meant to be a paragraph using headings and paragraph tags. Excellent. Well, we know what a paragraph tag is. If this is supposed to be a paragraph, you want to use the P for paragraph tags and make sure to close it with a slash P ba. Great. Now, Lola. I wonder, should we do Lola with H1? Because it looks like it's the heading of this paragraph right below it. And then maybe dog with H1 as well. Hmm. Well, if my pets is the main heading, this would be like a subheading. So I would think it'd look better a bit smaller, honestly. Otherwise, it looks like my pets is less important when really that's the title to the page. So what if we made this H2, which is one smaller, obviously, than H1? That makes sense. And then dog maybe is even a subheading of that. Let's try out H3. Oh, and notice this went pink. This went pink because there must be an error here before it. And there is. It says you're trying to close an H1 tag, but this is an H3 tag. So let's fix our error. Let's debug. And boom. Hmm. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and then this is the paragraph about the dog. And again, always make sure to have a closing tag. Great. Let's now see how... Let's see if that looks good continuing onward. H2 for this pet. That's looking right. And then our turtle, we were using H3 because that seemed to be even a smaller subheading under the pet's name. Oops. Yeah, that looks good to me. And then finally, hamster. Whoops, nope. We should make this a paragraph tag because this, well, it's a paragraph. Yep. And then... H2 again, right, for our pets' names, or their pets' names. And then uh, we used H3 because this seemed to be even like a, a secondary subheading. Oops. There we are. And then paragraph. Because that should be a paragraph. That is looking pretty good to me. Yeah, and that all flows nicely, the largest, and then we have our subheadings. That looks 
Good, and it's properly formatted, no pink. Excellent, and if yours wasn't updating while you were going, always remember you can hit refresh and save, and it should go ahead and update. All right, let's keep going forward. 